but I want to start you out with this basic outline. So the 18 wheeler, I'm going to show you on here. It, there is a handout for this too, but the 18 wheeler comes with some basic shapes. You have this big rectangle over here. Then you have a square, just like a little bit further down from the top. It's actually almost a rectangle. It could be a rectangle or a square. And then I drew this long rectangle that goes below the square and the rectangle. And then you kind of draw this little outline for the top of the wheel, where the wheel goes. Okay? Um, I just put a curved line here to symbolize the lights. Um, up here, I did a square for like the window and the front door. And then if you go a little bit over at the top and just curve a line going up so that this is mainly straight and then it curves down at the end, you get this kind of aerodynamic shield that goes on the top of the trucks. And that's to help the wind and the air move more smoothly over the trucks. Um, underneath this square, I came down to match the bottom edge of this rectangle to draw another little rectangle. And I did some lines, almost to make it look like the step for the driver to get in. I connected over, made another rectangle, and that's where I'm putting the front two wheels, or second layer, two wheels. And then at the back, you can do the same thing. Just pull the line down, go across, and then stop. So there's a little bit of a gap in the middle. And then in there, do your half circles. And then your wheels will go underneath that. So they shouldn't be touching that line. That line just like a cutout of where the wheels go. Okay, you can put this little dot in the center if you want, or you can be fancy on your wheels and design them how you want. So that's the basic outline for this truck. I have a long rectangle going back to the edge, a taller rectangle that goes to the bottom edge, but it's taller than the top line. Then a square about halfway across, going across. Then I'm going to draw a line here. This is where my wheel is going to sit. So I'm going to go right under here and draw a big circle. Back here, draw a big circle, try to make them about the same size. And then I'm going to work on my door. Ice cream truck, just draw it the same height as the cab part where the driver sits. And you just erase. I mean, you wouldn't have that line. So ice cream truck would be the same height all the way across. But for a pickup truck or something that's carrying something in the bed of the truck or the back flat part of the truck, um, you want it to be lower. So you're going to be drawing whatever it is on here. So I could write like oranges. I could make this into an orange. I could draw some leaves. Like whatever it is for your decoration, you're going to design this. And then you're going to want to have something kind of showing. It doesn't even have to show. This is only optional. If you want to have um, whatever it is showing in the truck. So there's my oranges. I'm going to have my window here. Maybe I'll make mine curved on this one. And then... My driver sitting there with his baseball hat or whatever, his visor, and his hands on the wheel because he's a good driver. And then um, I'm going to kind of round out the front, and maybe I'll make one of those curved things like the truckers have, like a curved top. And then I can give this a door, maybe a handle, maybe a light, or maybe a light down here. That looks actually better. Okay, so now I'm going to add a background. So here's what you can do. If you want to, you can cut out your finished 
truck once it's colored in, sharpie if you have sharpie and everything. Or you can draw the background right in here. So I'm going to show you how to do that too. Just depends on your style, what you want to do. I want to have a line that's a horizon line that goes across. It doesn't go over your drawing, it goes behind your drawing. So it stops, pretend, 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 and then continue it across. That for me is going to be the other part of the road. I want to draw some lines here that will be like my stripes in the middle of the road. Usually there is a double yellow line. So the yellow part's going to be in between these two, which it's a little sloppy, but oh well. You can use a ruler if you wish, if you have one. So then there's his lane, right? And then behind him is wherever he is. So if he's um, in Florida, in the countryside, then, you know, you can draw some hills and some trees. And you guys would know what that looks like, right? Because you can drive out around Groveland or Claremont or Ferndale or Mount Dora. And you'll see, like, those big trees like we have at school. So now I'm just going to finish up adding all the details for my little farm scene. So I've got my barn and my bale of hay and then some grass and a tree. Whatever you wish to have in your background, you can do. First, focus on your truck. Then add your elements behind it. Or do your whole background landscape scene and cut and paste your truck onto it when it's all finished. When both pieces are done, cut this out, glue it onto that. For right now, I'm going to go with this and I'm going to sharpie my outlines. <laughs> is supposed to be white that's the only thing I didn't color in I colored the oranges I colored the barn the window the sky the tree the grass and if you notice I put it so that there looks like there's a window on the other side of the trucker's cab the red part is supposed to be the inside of the car so seeing it looks like a, a red interior and then this part where you can see through is the window on the other side so I wanted to make sure I included that and kept the consistency of the green grass going through, just going past his head and then continuing on the other side. Um, I put a little hay bale. Um, I made the oranges in the tires just for fun, but you can do your tires any way you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I think you're going to love doing this art project. I can't wait to see all your work. Good luck. Mm -hmm.